Hey gang, welcome to a Bold Eagle fishing adventure. Back in the kitchen again. So today, I'm gonna make up something real special. So this is a tribute to a buddy of mine that gave me a phone call a few days ago, Mr. Lance. So he calls me up and he goes, hey Gabe, so um, yeah, you know that pesto cream sauce that you do with the salmon, the baked salmon? I said, yeah. He goes, what do you think about doing that pesto cream sauce with crab and putting it over noodles? So once I came out of the coma of thinking about that, I was like, yeah, boy. I said, make it up. So he sends me a picture the next day with the caption, yum. And uh, the, the picture of this concoction was incredible it looked amazing so I said okay I said well I'm going to be making this for the first time right now and this is like I said a tribute to Mr. Lance this is his idea so uh, if it's bad you can contact him no this isn't gonna be bad this is this is gonna be off the chart uh, <laughs> mind-blowing so let's get started we're gonna make the pesto cream sauce really really simple cream sauce I've done this on a video about the baked salmon and that is phenomenal so first thing I want to do is get some heat going here uh, medium high and I'm gonna put in about a tablespoon of butter there you go and put that over there so we're gonna let that render down a little bit here I need a spoon my dear thank you my lovely wife again <laughs> behind the camera all right so I'll get this kind of going here a little bit doing a little dance with the butter oh yeah all right okay we're gonna throw in one medium size yellow onion yeah this sauce pretty funny because I had told him I said man you can slap you could slap this sauce on a bumper of a car it would be good to eat and he actually used that term back to me so yeah uh, it's that good and you know it's so universal you could put this on chicken um, I've actually had it with Costco rotisserie chicken oh it's so good so when he mentioned the crab uh, like I said uh, the moment I came out of in a coma uh, from thinking about it, uh, I was just all over it like a bum on a bologna sandwich. How could so. that be bad? It can't, that, exactly, how, that, it just can't. There's just some things in this life is just, yeah, no, that's just gonna be incredible. So, we're gonna get this, uh, so once I have this onion all nice and tenderized in here with the butter, then I'm gonna bring you guys back and we're gonna start putting this sauce together fairly quick, so. We'll see you in a minute. All right, gang, so got the uh, onion now. It's kind of opaque. It's, it's a little softened up, real pretty in there and so forth. So now what I'm going to do, real simple. I'm going to add in a quart of heavy cream. Sound effects, you know. Got a big budget around here. We got sound effects, all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Put that all in there. Yum. Alright, so we got that going and um, crank this thing up a little bit, get it up to more of a high heat. And now is the time to do a little seasoning. So I'm going to add in just a probably about a tablespoon or so of garlic salt, teaspoon to, you know, to a tablespoon of garlic salt. And uh, it's a season to taste thing. So. And then a good splash of some black pepper, like so. Okay, and always go back and add, but you can't take it out, so keep that in mind. And then, and, th and then, this is my wife's secret. Oh, some really nice pesto here, homemade. And I mean, you know, uh, yeah, we're, we're talking a dollop of this stuff. Plunk, okay, that goes in. I mean, <laughs> giddy up. All right, so, and now we just kind of stir this. I mean, really, how hard is that? That is just break up the, 
pesto in here a little bit. Kind of get everything incorporated. And uh, yeah, actually, I want this a little higher heat. All right, I'll bring you guys back as soon as this is all nice and thickened up and we're ready to add the crab meat. All right. All right, gang, so um, I've got this to the consistency that I'm looking for. I actually needed to add a little bit of Wondera, uh, a little bit of thickening flour, uh, just to get this to the thickness that I was looking for. So this is really nice now. This has got a nice, nice, nice thick base to it. Um, not overly thick, but uh, you want it on the a little bit of on the rich thickness side uh, for this dish. So, anyways, beautiful, looks great. That's what I want. I added a little bit more garlic salt and a little bit more black pepper. Like I said, it's kind of a season to taste thing. And with Wondera or any thickening agent, you always want to bring it to a full boil uh, and then let it cool down so you can kind of get an idea of exactly the consistency that you're looking for. For me, this is exactly what I'm looking for. This is. This is going to be beautiful. So now I'm going to add the crab meat to this. Let this all nicely get hot and then over the noodles it goes. Let's get started with that. Wrong. So what I've got here is about, about a pound and a half of crab meat. I mean, yeah boy. So this is going in and uh, yeah, I'm, you have to kind of get the whole vibe of how this is just Oh, oh, oh yeah, a little crab juice to go with it. I mean, yeah. All right, there we go. That's what I, I mean, I, who's gonna be eating good tonight? Woo, me and you. <laughs> yeah. I'll share. All right, so there's that. Oh yeah, let me get this all stirred up. Oh, Lance. Dude, yeah boy, that is what I'm talking about. Hot damn. Yeah. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, yes, if, if your mouth is not frothing right now, there's something wrong with you, seriously. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Need smell of vision. Yeah. All right, let's uh, put this about medium now. We'll get this all nice and hot because the crab obviously was nice and cold from the fridge. So I will bring you guys back when this is getting put on the noodles and a little final touch. See you in a minute. So uh, we're ready to plate this up. My wife uh, kind of show you, we got the noodles right here. And now I'm gonna just take some of this uh, beautiful crab pesto sauce mixture and just kind of ooh dollop right on there like so, and a little bit more like that, and oh yeah, oh, 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 oh. a little bit more like that. Oh, oh, okay, what be, you know, just, okay, just one more like that, and then we'll take a little bit of, this is uh, some, a little bit of Italian parsley, we're just gonna kinda, ooh, 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 oh, oh, oh. done, that's it guys, voila, all right, now you better give some distance here because I'm going in. This could this could get dangerous. So let's see what we got here. Oh, look at that big old leg right here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my God, Lance! Wow, babe. Oh, that is stupid good. Winner, winner. Oh. Oh my God, you guys got crab, you gotta try this dish. I kid you not. And I'll tell you what, if you don't, you don't have crab, you can get, uh, I would say like jumbo shrimp. Do up your shrimp, you know, don't overcook it so it's not rubbery, but you could do the shrimp with this sauce and on the noodles like this, stupid good too. Or so, chicken. Huh? Or chicken too. Well, or chicken, yeah, I mean, you know, like I said, bumper of a car. I mean, you know, <laughs> this is fantastic. Thank you, Lance. Appreciate the tidbit, brother. This is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hey, guys. 
wow, what can I say? I really, uh, this is awesome. And I appreciate all of you. Listen, if you really liked this video and you uh, found it entertaining, you found some good information about what you can do with some crab or shrimp or bumper of a car or whatever the case might be, please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. My, my wife and I, we really appreciate all your support and uh, we love all of you. Thank you so much. Have a great one. I'll see you on the next Bald Eagle Fishing Adventure. Take care, gang. Bye.